so there is one answer that they're asking for here, but actually there's a few different phrases that will be good to know. Uh, okay, well I was going to say the answer is down. Uh, with, I didn't look at the grid. It's none of them. It's wrong. They're all wrong. Konnichiwa. Welcome back to the only show on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exam questions. It is a lovely sunny Wednesday evening here in the UK. Uh, we've just had Storm Kiara and Storm Dennis uh, with lots of flooding, lots of horrible weather. But today, it's looking great outside, uh, lots of sun, lots of birds singing as well. So it's a bit of that calm after the storm. Uh, but enough about me, enough about the weather. Time to look at Waseda School of Human Sciences questions. Um, quite a lot of work on prepositions and uh, determiners and particles, the small little words that you put in between sentences to make them like grammatically uh, make sense. And I understand that it is university exam season or it's entrance exam season uh, in Japan at the moment. So good luck to everybody out there uh, watching this uh, video. Good luck with both your past exams, I hope the ones you've already taken have gone well, and good luck with your future exams as well. I want to hear your results in the comments down below. Anyway, let's get right into it. Question number 26, for some reason we're starting at 26. There's an old saying that the early bird catches blank the worm. So we have a grid at the top of the table here, and you can choose words from this grid and fill it into the sentence to make uh, make it make sense. And here, the answer is L, no word. Uh, the saying is the early bird catches the worm. And what that means is the, the person who gets there first gets the best meal or the best thing. Um, and it's quite a common uh, marketing tactic in the UK. There's a, a famous chain of restaurant um, called the harvester which uses the early bird menu which means if you get there before a certain time everything's a bit cheaper um, but yeah there you go the early bird catches the worm uh, common saying good number 27 I didn't get a salary increase this year so I'll have to get blank on my current pay um, good phrasal verb here uh, if you are struggling for money or you need to put up with something um, and you don't quite have what you need you get by so the answer here is D, buy. I'll have to get by on my current pay. Um, you know, you just have to survive. Get by. You just have to do it. Uh, you have to manage. There you go. Get by equals manage, basically. Question number uh, 28. My friend and I wanted to see the show, but blank the two of us, we didn't have enough money. Um, okay. Fairly easy, these questions so far, I think. Fairly easy. Uh, the answer is C between but between the two of us we didn't have enough money they mean combining the two um, they couldn't afford it simple question number 29 now that you've graduated from high school you need to be responsible blank your actions um, again fairly easy uh, which is where's the letter do, 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 do. e for and to be responsible for your actions basically be mature own up to your mistakes um, don't be an idiot Question number 30. The shipwrecked crew miraculously survived blank all odds on the tiny island. Um, again, fairly easy, I think. Though that might just be easy for me because I'm a native speaker. I suppose these little small words, they can be really difficult to know where to put them. Especially because in Japanese you have particles like waga, um, waka. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. But you've got all these little words that you slot in. I don't know where they go in Japanese, so I'm sure it's hard for, for you learning English as well. Here the answer is A, against all odds on the tiny island. Um, it means, against all odds is a good phrase to know, it means it's unlikely, um, but it happened. So it's something is unlikely, but it happened anyway. Uh, for example, against all odds I passed all of my exams. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any exams. I'm an English student at university. I just write essays all day. Um, so against all odds, I passed all of my essays. There you go. Question number 31. The laborers worked in three shifts. Blank the clock to maximize the factory's output. Um, ooh, okay. So there is one answer that they're asking for here, but actually there's a few 
different phrases that will be good to know. Uh, so the first is the answer, which is the laborers worked in three shifts around the clock B to maximize the factory's output. That just means 24 hours a day, you know, all day constantly they're working to do the best they can for this factory. Some other good phrases uh, for blank the clock. You can have um, against the clock, which means uh, like your time is running out. You're on a time limit and you have to beat the clock, right? So you're, you're almost against the clock in like a fight. Um, so they might say the laborers worked in three shifts uh, against the clock to get the work finished, for example. That's, you know, another way of, of saying it. And the last one is you can also say on the clock, which is a bit more complicated to explain. But similar to against the clock, it's like you, you've got a time limit. Um, you could say, Mori Tetsu, you're on the clock to get this video out this week. Okay? You need to get the video out this week, that kind of thing. Um, so against and on the clock is like fighting against the clock, um, trying to reach a deadline. Around the clock is 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, like a convenience store, for example. Okay, uh, 32. Bob was torn. Blank having dinner with his family or going to the movies with his friends. Uh, again, fairly simple. Answer here is C, between. Uh, you can't, he can't make the choice between two different options. You know, oh, do I want to go with my friends or do I want to see my family? Uh, difficult choice. I would probably, now that I'm at university, always choose my family because uh, I'm a long way from home. Three and a, three and a half hours journey from home. Uh, and with the British train system, probably more like six hours. Uh, question number 33. I asked James how much the house over there costs. He said, blank, the top of my head, I'd say it's 50 million yen. God, I'm bad at maths. I couldn't read that number. 50 million yen. How much is that? Uh, find that out later. He said, another useful phrase here, G, off the top of my head. It, it basically means... Um, from thinking only, like I haven't researched this. From what I remember, there you go. Off the top of my head means from what I remember. Say it's 50 million, yeah. Question number 34. Bill initially questioned the report's findings, but he eventually came blank the same conclusions. Um, quite easy, again, the answer here is J2. To come to the same conclusions is to agree with somebody, basically, to agree with someone. Question number 35. The professor's new theory did not go blank well with some researchers in his field. Uh, a bit harder, this one, I think. There's a, a common phrase, um, which is... Where is it? Do, 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 do. Okay, well, I was going to say the answer is down. Uh, with, I didn't look at the grid. No, wrong question. He eventually... No, no wrong question again. The professor's new theory did not go around between, by, for, in, off, on, over, to, up. What? Okay, so what I would say here is the professor's new theory did not go down well with some researchers in his field, which would mean they don't agree, they don't like this theory that this man's come up with or this, this professor's come up with. Um, I'm going to say that sentence again, Ted, because I said he, which is gendered. Uh... What I would say is the professor's new theory did not go down well with some researchers in... Oh, I don't need to say it. It's already gendered in the question. I'm an idiot. Just cut that out. <laughs> um, but I can't see anything. Did not go against well, no. Around well, no. Don't go around well with some... No, it doesn't make sense. Don't go around well with some... No, go between, go by. Well, go for well, go in well, go off well, go on well, go over well, over, no, go too well, no you can't, up well, no word, it's none of them, it's wrong, they're all wrong, that's all wrong, none of these fit here, why are you doing this to me, why are you doing this to me, uh, maybe they're trying to say go around well with some researchers in his field, that's the one that makes most sense, but it still doesn't make sense, but it sounds okay, so I'm going to go with B around, but if I can't answer it, this is interesting. I'm going to say this is a very hard question because it's unanswerable. It's unanswerable. Look, I've got a brand new mic. Put that down before it disconnects. Okay.
Question number 36. I was able to avoid the traffic jam, so I will be blank home sooner than I had planned. Uh, answer L. No word. Uh, you'll be home sooner than you'd planned. Good. You're home early. Perfect. Fairly easy, that one. Question number 37. The question under discussion remains unanswered. Blank, the best of our knowledge. Um, oh, good phrase. J, two, to the best of our knowledge. It's like, um, as far as we know, um, to the best of my knowledge. You know, I think this. Uh, 38. It's become so hot and humid that Bob takes his walks blank the early morning. Um, quite easy. Should be F in in the early morning. Yeah, that one's just a time phrase. Should be fairly simple. Question number 39. You might as well take him blank on his offer to help you move into your new apartment. Good phrase, very good phrase. Take him up, K. Take him up on his offer, so to accept uh, somebody's proposal. Take him up on the offer. Question number 40. I was convinced that he took the book, but it had just been put blank the wrong shelf. Easy, should be. Uh, H on, been put on the wrong shelf. Been put uh, in the wrong place, is another way to say it. Okay. Massive good luck in your exams, okay? So another.